So quickly create a report of the batch, and with as little effort as possible, that is the dream of many brewers. It will not always be necessary to connect an MES system to the control system with considerable efforts and costs, and the same applies to the creation of the report. The report should be possible with onboard means and not only with programming effort. So-called ad hoc reports can now be easily generated with Excel and Beaumont version 8.0 at the push of a button and individually designed without any additional costs. If that is not enough for you, you can also integrate the PM quality add-on from Siemens. Again, no MES system is required, but in the case of using the feature Long-Term Archive, the SQL adapter option is of course required. My colleague Horst Fuchs will now show you how a batch report and a basement report can be created with Promat version 8.0 without further options. Thanks, Jürgen. Then I will now show you live in the demo how we can create a batch report together. From time to time, you face the problem of how to provide a simple report in my production plant, a batch report, i.e. a summary of the corresponding parameters, target and actual values that are exactly tailored to the respective addressee. In the brewery we have e.g. the brew report. This is a report that summarizes all technologically relevant parameters that are of interest to the brewmaster. I mention this because a recipe procedure also contains many pure machine data and parameters, e.g. the speed of the agitator or the opening angle of a steam valve. This is not a parameter I want to see later in a brew report. In the brew report, I need temperatures, quantities, i.e. kilograms, hectoliters, times, start times and so on. In principle, a pre-filtered quantity of the parameters, which ultimately appear completely in a recipe description. We look at this again in the process picture. I would like to see in the brew report later, for example, the different mashing temperatures, how many hectoliters were in the mixing vessel, how much malt I processed in the mill, and so on. Again, I do not want to know the opening angle of a steam valve which is relevant for reaching the smashing temperature. How do we do this without having to program in the PLC or in the IS, without having a large SQL database knowledge? I would like to find a method that the brewmaster himself might be able to use to filter the values and arrange the design of the complete report. Of course, we already have standard reports within Braumat. For example, the step protocols where I record all parameters regarding set point and actual value, all times, all steps. It's nice that I have it. There are also certain functions with the plant that look exactly at these parameters. But I don't want to see this in the brew report. But how can I create such a report? I said, somewhere within this recipe procedure, I have these parameters. So I should be able to create the report design from here. 
we start right here. In the graphic recipe system, with a dialog called Global Reporting Tags or KOP, Key Operating Parameters. This is a hodgepodge of parameters that interests me for a report template. Because we want to keep it as simple as possible, we use a tool from another system, namely MS Excel, with which a brewmaster can perhaps also create a report design. That means in this report I can already see what I want to print out later. Of course, these KOP lists are not only available for a brew house. I can also import, if available, KOP lists for cellars or filtrations, or if I'm not in a brewery, for milk plants. This is the basis of what we want to do now. This list can also be far too long. There may be KOPs that I never find in my recipe description. Because I don't have any measurements in my plant for that certain process or steps have not been realized in such detail. But that is not a problem for now. With this basis, with this list, I am now looking for corresponding set points and actual values. There are very simple ones, e.g. the mash temperature. For this, I have established a set point and an actual value here. By right-clicking, I get to the context menu, reporting tag source of the set point. And I can start searching for the corresponding KOP. Here I have found one mesh in temperature. I combine that with the actual meshing temperature. Of course, this can happen more often, so I can do this more often. Therefore, it has to appear in the list more often. Here in the malt contents, I have the quantity, the amount and the name. I can also link non-analog values, i.e. enumerations, texts. And there are also smart type parameters. Normally we have value type single, but there is also value type sum. This means here I want to minimize the effort of calculation within the PSC and I can already anticipate the summation of certain malt quantities, in this case directly via a SUM parameter. That means I link the malt quantity twice. Once with the actual quantity of malt inside the silo, and then each time I identify this quantity target value and actual value within the project planning. I link it to this sum parameter and then the sum is automatically calculated during the step change. We will see this again in a moment. If I would like to know when a unit was allocated, i.e. used or occupied, I will find KOPs for this as well. For example, starting time. I can also differ between process start and real plant start. If I have, like here, a step, base position, which does nothing technologically except to wait under certain circumstances, then I could set the process start also on to the synchronization and have the actual occupancy of this plant section technologically. In the end, I hopefully have linked all my key OPs. But as you see, I have gaps. But that's not bad for now. 
You can either manipulate these gaps by deleting the according KOPs or perhaps it would be smarter to use these free spaces for manual entries in the report. You can imagine that not everything in the system is measurable. If you do a hop dosage, you might do it manually. You don't have a measurement for this, but you might have written it down somewhere during the process and could then enter it in these free spaces afterwards. This is now my linked list. I now use the prepared Excel report, the template. Raumat does this automatically. All this linked raw data ends up in a specified Excel table. We can see that here, most fields are empty. But the raw data may already be linked here. I don't have real target values here yet. This is all we have to do for the preparation. Every time we run a batch here and the end of the batch has been identified, we get the corresponding batch with the label Finished entered in our order system under Archive. We can now go to this batch and select Batch Report. Now the received data, the filtered data list is prepared accordingly and gets copied into the Excel template. The Excel template is stamped on this batch number, here 21.2. This is also the content of the file name we see above. And now all target and actual values that we were able to protect via this filter list are also entered in the corresponding position. Here you can see the sum parameter, that is the sum of these three mold quantities which is entered here already summed up, without having to project anything in the AS or in an SQL statement. Everything else I see in this report, these are all Excel features. This has nothing to do with pure project planning. The raw data list is now filled out accordingly. And here you have the gaps. You can now fill them in by hand. This is now the application of this reporting functionality as standard within the batch context. So whenever I run a batch, I would have a batch report. I can also use this reporting functionality and just pretend to drive a batch. I have here an example of a cellar. In this cellar, I have corresponding tanks. The tanks contain materials, in this case probably beer or wort. Maybe also a cleaning material. This is the current status of a tank. As a use case, you would like to create an archive in such a tank farm every day at exactly the same time and thus a report for the cellar. I can start a pseudo batch for this. I can do this with this button, but of course a timer can also do that for me. For example, every day at 6 o'clock, scan all values once and summarize the data. I can also see this today in batch archive. This means that the system creates a record for each day and I misuse the order and batch number for day and month. 
For each day I have started a studio badge here. Of course, I also created a badge report template. In this case, a tank report template made the corresponding links to the target values and can now generate a daily report here. About all 12 tanks, which contains the most important information. What is in the tank? What quantity is in the tank? How are my fermentation and storage times? The remaining times in the case. And if you want, and these are again here Excel features, you can also include small animations in the report. Now you can see how the tank farm looked like on 18th of May. You can print it out, file it and use it for logging your cellar. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.